the thing we want to preserve the health of is definitely our mascot. So I'm going to play this. We'll see if we get a top deck. We have three teleports in this deck. I will do Chum Champion if we get it. Oh, snap! It's some top deck madness time! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Teleport! Chum Champion! That was so good! Get freaking wrecked! What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the Rust Bowl control deck. I'm gonna say that with a straight face. Now, the idea of this deck is you can play either like a typical sports deck, which is tempo, and you play this on one, play this on two. Maybe you play your teleportation zombie on two, and then you're able to teleport in your team mascot, which will ensure it will grow, follow up with your uh, coach to protect all your guys and let them grow again, etc. Finish them off with going viral. Now, you can also play this like a control deck. So the Gladiator is going to prevent your opponent from making plays. The Sumo is a decent control card. This will move something over, so we'll usually counter anything we play on turn two. Uh, teleporting in things is always a good way of controlling. Really, even the Brain Vendor becomes like a zero-cost banana bomb in a lot of situations if you have Teleportation Zombie in the field. Because uh, this can just do two damage to something, Important which is cool. Announcement. It is Fry's birthday, and he is playing his favorite deck. Thank you so much, Chicken Gossip. No one listened to him. <laughs> anyway. Now... Uh, the Brain Vendor synergizes with Sports, it synergizes with Chum Champion. Now, this is only going to be good if you teleport it in, but if you do teleport this in and they have a bunch of weaker uh, minions on the field, this will be fine, good. We'll see if the Chum Champion can actually do anything. It's sort of the reason why we built this deck in the first place, is just to have an excuse to run Chump Champion in the deck. Uh, and then you can finish off with the Blob. Now, the Blob actually is a really easy synergy. We're anyway running Teleports, we're anyway running Brain Vendor to give some cheap brains. So you can really teleport in the Blob and do bonus attacks, or do the uh, going viral with the Blob in order to make it hit your opponent's face. Let's see if this deck can do anything. Hope you guys... Hope you guys such a... I know this is a stretch. This isn't the... Uh, the, the most overpowered deck I've ever made, but you, maybe we'll be surprised, especially since the deck has the flexibility again of either being um, aggro or, you know, like a, like a tempo deck or a control deck. Now, there's this new thing on Twitch, which I'm going to do for the live audience here, is where you can predict... You can predict uh, how many wins I'm going to get. So it, it's going to say... We're going to start prediction... Uh, more than seven wins. So if we if we get eight and two, the answer is yes. And if you think it's going to go seven and three or below, then it's going to be no. So uh, it's going to be more than seven wins. And we're we're, we're going to open this up for the next uh, for the next twenty minutes at the beginning of the stream. That'll be good. Um, I whoops, and I forgot to mulligan already. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good starting hand. Not going to lie. You guys can bet your channel points that you get for watching the live stream. This will be a fun thing we do at the live stream now. Uh, how do you actually make this start here? Uh, this will be yes. This will be no. More than seven wins. And the, the poll will be open for 20 minutes. Remind me to do it at the end of the stream and confirm. Now, if I if this deck does terribly, and I quit in the middle, then that's a no. <laughs> so it has to get eight wins. Eight has we have to go at least eight and two, in order for this to work. If I was playing a really really slow deck, perhaps I would um, I would make it like more than six wins. Maybe I should actually, I should actually make a legit prediction because I don't really see this deck winning eight, but we will be surprised. Okay, for today it's eight and two, but maybe in, in maybe I should have made it more than six wins. But uh, just to make it exciting, you know? Alright, let's go. Let's see if he plays Planet of the Grapes here. He actually played here, which is annoying. Everyone's voted no so far. <laughs> Ooh, we're off to a great start here, guys. I don't know about you. I think we're in fantastic shape. I think I'm going to commit the second team mascot here in Rockwell. I think that's the way. Whee! I'll put it on heights just so we don't get Shrinking Violet, but off chance that he's running that. Rockwell's really good here. The play doesn't remove the 2 3. That would be annoying. Pine Clone! Uh, so this is gonna have eight, 8 health. They both live. I think we're still in amazing shape here, actually. Now we're gonna be growing. Everything's gonna be fine, guys. In fact, I can clear these Pine Clones with a Chump Champion right now if I want. 
Is it worth it, or is it better just to coach? This chump champion is kind of kind of spicy here. It means covering a 3-3 mascot, but it does mean taking all these cards. Now, the coach is a really good play. The problem is Molokel. Molokel will win if we coach. If we play chump champion here, I think we gotta take this, right? It just means that if he's able to deal 4 damage to this, our whole engine is gone. I don't know. I'm. This is a really... <laughs> we have coaches the next two turns. You know what? We're not going to make bad trades even into Molokil. We don't actually lose to Molokil here, especially since we have another coach next turn. So I'm going to I'm gonna take the coach, even though this is a very, very juicy chump champion play. I feel like if I get a teleport, I'll consider it next turn. But this, everything on our field grows. Bouncing this one? Oh, you're annoying. Annoying! We still have the chump champion option here. We'll block the 6 damage. Nice. I don't even think we play that. These grow. Coach Suma looks awfully good here. I know this is a slightly more boring line of play, but... <sighs> we are playing this correctly. I'm, uh, we actually have some people who predicted eight wins for this deck. <laughs> I predict no. I'm voting no. But it could always happen, guys. Oh no. Uh huh. This is fine. So we want. Well, might as well make the sumo live. I could actually chum champion now. This would be the time it's actually really good here. To play it on the Simo since I don't have anything better to do. I think this is the Chum Champion turn. He only has two cards left in hand. Look how great the Chum Champion is here, guys. This is incredible. Now it's really good. And we also have follow-ups. Oh. Is this is going viral. Is the going viral better than the Chum Champion? <laughs> it's so tempting. But uh, the going viral is probably better. <laughs> Poor Chum Champion. He doesn't even have a... Next turn. I should probably do this just for the memes right now. If I had a teleport, this would be so much easier. You know what? Maybe I'll get a teleport. Maybe I'll use this first. Alright, it's pass. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want to actually win games with this deck. I have to play optimally. There's no margin for error here. Okay. Pineclaw. It's going viral is so strong. So am I going to play this nerf card this turn? Like, if I top deck a teleport, I could play the chump champion. I I, I might as well do this. Uh, the thing we want to preserve the health of is definitely our mascot. So I'm going to play this. We'll see if we get a top deck. We have three teleports in this deck. I will do chump champion if we get it. Oh snap! It's some top deck madness time! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Teleport! Chum champion! That was so good! Get freaking wrecked! Yes, absolutely. No, I don't want to concede. For the win? <laughs> Awful close. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm very happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Easy. Oh, you blew something. That's nice. I think I'll just coach. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> top deck. That was the second top deck. You guys. Okay, sorry. I have to... Um. Oh, I just changed it to 1 and 0 for some reason. Eh, I'll just leave it at 1 and 0. It's fine. We'll, we'll be okay here. Oh. See ya. See ya. Going viral for the win. <laughs> All right, so far, Chum Champion is carrying this deck to victory. Too easy. Too easy, guys. Today's uh, March 19th. Jeez, it's late. Gotta get a move on. Two last turn, top deck. Chum Champion. There. 
Keep it going. I get to see who, who has faith in me or not, because there's a little Twitch badge by whoever voted yes or no. You can even see it in the in the chat over there. The 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 blue ones by their name means yes and the pink twos. Whatever color that is. I'm colorblind. Means no. 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 Damn, that's a good hand. I'm keeping that hand. <laughs> I'll keep that one. I'll coach on four and coach on five any day. Um, so the question is, how do we play around Spikeweed Sector? Do we put this on heights? I think we put this on the ground, because of this dying to Spikeweed. This can die to a, like, Spikeweed plus a Galacta next turn, so this dying slowly is fine here, I guess. Hopefully he does not have a hammer. If he has a way of removing this 1-4, hammer is a way, uh, health nut is a way. If he has a way of removing this, he's in really good shape. If not, this guy's this guy's screwed. No, we're four, five, six. This is we're in exceedingly good shape. Is there any reason to play in or out of the environment this turn? This is gonna be protected regardless for the next two turns. There's no AoE we have to worry about, no shrinking violet. I, I don't think this actually makes a difference. Is there like a different environment? That he could play, that he would want to play, that would cover this. Like, if he's running heal, it's very unlikely he's running heal. This looks like a control deck. I don't know if there's really any consideration. Well, this, how about the, the bigger card ends up in the... This will be the biggest card on the field with the most health, rather than the ones we play next turn. And that is going to be the one which we want to be eventually taking damage from the spikeweed sector since it doesn't die. I guess that makes sense. Force field. It's probably yeah, it's very very unlikely running force field in this day. Extremely unlikely. So this looks really, really good for five. A second going viral would be a nice top deck here. Um, is there any reason to go brain vendor instead of gladiator here? The brain vendor will be useful later if we need to finish him off with a blob, so I'm gonna commit this. I think making the more beefy play on the wing nut, which is definitely a card we have to remove here, is the weight. Uh, we have a really solid field, even if we don't get a playable card next turn. It's gonna heal for me. Turns out that um, Chump Champion would not be a bad play here. It very likely is just better than going viral straight up. Clink. It's possible to make a private server in this game. I, I know nothing about that, that entire thing. It's a zero, by the way. Rocket. Wow. Rocket is active. This is a really strong hand. It's probably not running Doom Shroom in a deck with Guacodile and Paracode, is my guess, even though it would be exceedingly strong here. You're annoying. This actually takes four, five, six. Yeah, that's nice. That's too bad. Um, so it looks like the rocket's happening on the 5-1 here. Let's see what we get. Most definitely. This wouldn't have done a bonus tag anyway, but this does. Go in face. Uh, this actually dies here. Is that okay? Blobs and teleports is probably the best thing. Ooh, that frenzies through. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, that's awkward. So he's grow again. Sumo. Definitely Sumo. So what what makes a good trade? This will do four plus four. Nothing does a good trade. I wonder if I just move this to die. So you move the guacodile away. I 
and I'll protect the 6-3. So we're doing a lot of damage to his face here. If this one procs the block, it's so much value here. Too bad. Okay, it's two instead of four. Spreading the weed. This takes <laughs> three damage, you're still at 17. Oh, that's some top deck madness. Let's this lit. Oh man, <laughs> really tough spot. Even if he heals for ten here, okay. Oh, stupid wall knight. I could really, really use a teleport and a blob right now. That's gonna be the the quick finish for this deck. Look at sports go, guys. Yeah, <laughs> nice try, dude. He doesn't know. You like that. Alright, so this, uh, Knights are mascot survived. This actually dies here, which is a little sad. Uh, yes. Cards. Now our, now our sumo lives. And we have another one. Splash! Jump, 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 jump. So that lives now. Crazy, man. And this takes three. <laughs> this gladiator. It's so, <laughs> wow, another going viral. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so this is going to go up to four. I, the gladiator is probably better here. Unless we top deck a blob and a going viral, which is very unlikely. This has got to be right. It's gotta be right. I think Brain Vendor would be better. I mean, if we top deck a third going viral, we'd make the Brain Vendor do five, but this would only do four. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> a bonus attack would be so clutch here. Um. So this does three. This does two. Just calculating points of doubt. This is guaranteed lethal already, ain't it? Yeah, see ya. <laughs> we beat this wall. Can't believe we beat that wall knight deck. How did how did we beat a control deck with sports? But anyway. We we have had pretty epic starting hands both games. Even though I didn't even mulligan the first game. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine, guys. Why is voting not available in your country? No, oh, it might be if you're, oh, I don't know. Maybe there's some, like, I have no idea. Like, collecting data from a country. What country do you live in? Okay, should we play for the blob here? And actually keep this? Would this be insane to do? It's so strong. Because in the Netherlands, you can't gamble, and it's called gambling. I I'm going to look for, like, for an actual starting hand here. Oh, my God. It's a dream. How? No, that's not. I'm sorry. That's broken, man. That's not fair. That's not fair. How are we getting these? These crazy... Sports are good if you get the, the, the dream starting hand every single game. This sumo is so strong against this Admiral play. God damn. Okay. Okay. That is... No. This is not fair. This is not fair. This is not even close to fair. Okay. I'll see you later. Yeah. This just makes a trade. Will he answer the mascot? This is his last chance. He has to have an answer to a 1-4 or he's dead. Vegetation means oh, I'm big in. Okay, he did it. Good job for you. Good job for you. Ooh, that's huge. We do make a good trade here. We're also not taking damage, so we're gonna actually have to play for a going viral or for a blob or for something like that. But in the meantime, we're just gonna keep on establishing this very unshakable. It's unshakable if he fronts us, and also if he doesn't because of the gladiator. I don't think we. I don't I don't think that matters that much. 
We have, again, that's why we're running Blob. You have to have other ways of winning in this day. And that we do. We're just establishing a lot of free tempo here. Do some people bet every every channel point? That's an interesting one. This does die for free over the course of the next two turns, but it also means we miss damage. I feel like him establishing a big card is his only win condition at this point, so I'm actually going to save the chop and kind of let this, this kill it for free. We don't need to rush him down. <laughs> no, people are getting so salty that I'm actually winning with this deck. Sports guys, sports are underrated. I, I could be super cheeky and go for teleport coach here, and I think I will. Do we have teleport should and chop is still active, even if he plays like a Gatling or something. Jumping V? We'll take which one? It's odd. Teleport. Uh, so we chopped this one, and it is it is much more value than than we would have had otherwise. Coach, chop, and this does zero to our face. We're still at twenty health, very comfortably. Really, really happy kept the chat there. This is not fair. <laughs> this is this is not fair. This is not even close to fair. This is a little fair. Eh, it's just coach. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Thanks for pouncing it, by the way. You get an extra one now. Stonks. No tempo. Pass. Stonks and pass on turn... On turn... Seven. Goddamn. I know, it's been going our way. Can't expect this level of luck to maintain. Yeah, uh, going viral is the best thing. This could lead to it. It's also nice to be able to teleport in something if he removes. Oh, okay, he top decks one stonk. At least he top decks two stonks. He's played one so magic beans. They two went onto the top of his deck. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow, look at this guy go. Teleport. Uh, it's gotta be teleportation zombie, right? Wow, byfield. He's literally winning now because he tell he topped that he played one so magic beans and he got two on the top of his deck. Are you kidding me? It's a strong play. Probably is gonna just pass here. Boop, 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 bounce a grave. That's fine. I didn't need that one. So, this says two. This is one. This is another out thing you can do with this deck, which is rare, but we're actually gonna teleport in the coach and make a good trade in all four lanes. Amazing. Amazing. Now we just need finishers. So we need our blobs. Our blobs are active even without the brain vendors now. And, you know, he's down to 8 health. We're at turn 8 already. Turn 10, sorry. Uh, we need going viral, but we're not getting any of those. Even a bonus attack is decently strong. Okay. And then the next turn he gets the third one. There's four in his deck. That's crazy. He got four in two turns. He got two the first. That's that's impossible. That is that is one of the greatest miracle. And he needs those to be back in this game. Look at the board now. Without these stonks, this guy would have been gone. He we would have been. Oh, he had Lima Pluridon? I don't even remember that. Oh, you're right. He did have Limas, but still, guys. How many how many cards did he did he put in his deck with Limas? Okay, well, 
And now he just gets some more cards. Top deck scaven cucumbers now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, these gladiators. Oh no, I should have played the sumo. Whoops. Should have played the sumo. Oh my God. Doesn't kill the first gladiator. Wow, nice. We need another one more going viral, and we're actually good to go for this game. In fact, did we just win? Oh uh, yeah, we win. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we win anyway. <laughs> Yay! Not even close. That's actually ridiculous, though. Uh, how many? I don't know if I can put that in the in the highlight comp because how many stonks did win his deck from Ligmas? Anyway, <laughs> everyone who bet against this deck is like, no, this is not fair, and everyone who bet for it, they're like, oh, I wish I had bet more. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> No one's happy. No one's happy here. Oh, uh, yeah, we're keeping that hand. I think I'm just gonna not play this on turn one. Should I play this? Like, does it counter Galacta or anything? I'll, I'll, I'll save it. This gets better later with the coaches. If you get ten and no, I'll use my allowance to give you ten dollars later. Okay, deal. Sounds like a plan. How do we play this? Do we even play the teleportation zombie? I don't think we do it. Well, if we get like mascot, it'll be good next turn. Yeah, we don't have to. It gets better later. And it will be part of the combo with the blob, right? Our win condition really is blob right now. He's running dino roots. Interesting. Let's see if we get some coaches or. I think this is still... we're still doing really good well here. <clears throat> Probably gonna teleport this in. They see me rolling. It's fine. <laughs> little bit snipey. Little, little, little. This is still the play. It takes two this turn, and then it takes its third health the next turn. So maybe we don't do it. Though. It takes two this turn. I don't want to proc its block here, but... There. Nice. We actually have a... Wait. What turn is this? I'm sorry, I'm really confused. This is turn three. We don't have Chum Champion yet. Let's keep track of the. It's this. What the heck is this? Um. So, it, this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's always our our score plus eleven is what this does. I'm just gonna do this and try to go past. Okay. Ugh, the dino roots are real. Fuck, man. I don't know. 
We're still doing okay. We're sitting on 18 health. We don't have a field anymore, but it's alright. Probably moving the one with, with that would remain 2 health is better. It's just rocket. I did not make a new P.O. box. I don't know where I'm going to be living this next year, to be honest. You know, my lease is until, on this new apartment is until September, but I don't know what's going to be. I don't know if I'm going to stay in this apartment after that. Not, not going to lie. I'm probably going to at least spend the winter somewhere warm, and who knows what's going to be after that. I, I really don't. Um, I'm taking the one, away the one with less health, actually, just for blocks. We have a chop in here somewhere, which would help. Just prevents 5 damage this turn 2. Usually, ugh, that hurt. I think this is okay. Brain Vendor, Chum Champion, heal. Kills us. Answers you. We're hoping that goes face. Would I use chop? That's the real question. That says nothing. So. This dies regardless. I think this is our win condition, so let's just let's probably move this. I don't know where. Yuck. I think we have to start working on this Ragnaros berry. It's nice if that's well. We kind of want to hit phase two. Maybe keeping his lanes clogged though is a good thing. And us proccing his block is really necessary. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to nerf this. Uh, I, I, there might have... Was there a way to make this not... I, I messed up. That was a misplay. I should have proc the block with this with the slam. Mm, we're still doing okay. Well, okay. Ugh. You know what? He's not hitting our face for very much here. We're still not propping the block, though. That might actually end up costing us this game. I guess we do this for a card. Oof. This is that team up, too. It's huge. So I'll use this next turn. I think we're done the fairly certain. Okay, it's something. I guess proccing the block is our priority here. Shut up and take my money. Love ya fry. Do you think that firefighter zombie would be good if it was not a gravestone? 
and cost. Possibly, yes. yeah. Both of those things. <laughs> the gravestone messes it up and this cost is too much, yeah. Maybe three cost non gravestone, four or five. Look how that would be. Is this a flower? This is not a flower, right? God damn. Okay. Looking for lethal. Did not... Oh, right. Did not get it. So proccing the block is a necessity this turn. Oh, our field is gone. I don't think we have a chance anymore. Two damage... Oh, well, we rolled a three. <laughs> this mascot living. Mascot and not getting Briar Rose would have been really, really good there. But this is transfer from Molecule. Man. Nice. Dasher Man just gifted one to Nightbot. Okay. Okay. What's our win condition now? I don't know. I don't think we have one. Oh, block. What's our last power? It's Rock Wall, right? <laughs> it doesn't help at all. Him having no minions here. Him having all environments in his hands. And still, I mean, this is still 10, 4, only does 14. <laughs> the last card is Rockwall, right? Nightbot's like a 3 month subscriber now. Uh, that's going with me. I need rolls of one. <laughs> ah! There are a lot of thoughts in the heart of man. And the guidance of God will exist. I don't know. I'm just trying to translate something from Hebrew very poorly. Will stand. I guess stand is the right word there. Are we trying to give Chump Champion a place in the world? Absolutely. <laughs> We're running two in this deck. I like it. I like it. I'm keeping going viral too with this hint. Mm -mm -mm. Hope it's not Cycle Cap. <laughs> sure hope it's not. We have Gladiators in this deck somewhere though, so... Oh, look at the... Look at the... The thing Sh going viral, you're shrinking by low. It's blown off. That's the same nightcap we played before. Uh Berry Blast does not take this out. This is a really a really comfy um Well, Blow takes it out. I guess anything that can kill Mascot will automatically kill the teleportation zombie here. Hmm, that's sad that once it takes one damage, it's, it's the same stats as Mascot. This is still a really safe play. It plays around Planet of the Grapes if you pass there, but uh, it doesn't look like that's what he's playing. <laughs> that's what he's playing for. It also could have taken out that card for free. Very blessed. Uh, thank you very much. Rocks the two. I, I like this play. I like it a lot. I like it thick. The fact he berry blasted this also means he does not have a bounce this turn. It could be the mascot's actually better. Let's let's pass here. That's a, a pretty strong pass. He already used his superpower anyway, so it doesn't have blow. It's not in spring he doesn't have jelly bean in his hand. It's not. It's not. You're an animal. Winston, you're an animal. So, I, I believe the mascot is the play here. And we coach next turn. On the top of the morning. Oh, we also have the, um... <laughs> we also have the... We also have the chump champion next turn. Makes this a, a little bit more interesting. Is there then a reason to coach here? I guess this always gets value, regardless. Yeah. Probably gonna hold out on the on the chum champion again here. Because the cost is too great. The the coach is such a solid player. 
And we can actually blob going viral, just blob on top of the teleportation zombie. Again, we don't lose to this. We also have a chop in case it gets one big card. That's a little bit annoying. Let's see what these pan out to be. Two <laughs> and three. Perfect. Chop this. Very, very nice. This lives. Very, very nice. Even with the star fruit here, splashing around. Splashed my way downtown. All right, now we're going for the heavy play. We also have we also have the 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 chum champion. Unless he okay, should we play around second Molokal? Oh, oh no 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 yeah well yeah 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 I'm just doing it guys this time I'm doing it this time I'm doing it. This, time I'm doing it. this time I'm doing it if he plays second molecule he wins the game it, it instantly we can't do it that's a huge chump champion huge now he has six to deal with this field and we even have a play in our hands there's this stonk piece of garbage uh, keeping the chump alive is is quite good here. Get rid of that mascot. What's happening? Alright, let's see what we got this next turn. So that was turn six. So on seven. I do not have two three three. I don't think playing for a teleport is very strong here. Uh, this does eight. I think the going viral. I think it's just well. Three, three, two. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Simo's probably correct. I don't think there's any scenario that we actually blow up here. It's going for another plank, though. Ow. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. And <laughs> I'm all a fail. And he gets... Okay, so considering the going viral, this lives already. This lives. Do we need this to live? Uh, okay, so Chum will die. And everything else makes a good trade. Uh, this living makes makes us able to do a few more things next turn. Oh, now we have Brain Bender. Definitely take it. Uh, his super can kill the mascot, unfortunately. Also kills anything, actually. Here she blows! Give me the sumo! Or the teleportation zombie. That's fine! That's actually... That's probably best case scenario, not gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. Uh, okay. So this turn... We play you, and... You and we teleport in the blob for the win. That does very mucho's grande damage. And he's setting up an amphibious lane. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> Why is he not trying to block us here? I don't understand. The weird play is actually blobbing here for the win. Yeah, I'll do it here. This is BM. It's better. It's <laughs> so much better. <laughs> Got him. And just like that. Just like that. I think the name of this stream is going to be the chat bet against me. And we prevailed. So far, we're winning We're winning 80%, which is our, our uh, challenge here. <laughs> Wet nuts. <laughs> Your nuts are amphibious! <laughs> My nuts made your mom amphibious. <laughs> Got him! Got him! No regrets. Huh. Is this the same guy? No. Whew. That's a solid hand. Should I keep this? I don't think so. Alright. Oh, 
<laughs> no, it's not the title, guys. Shush. Is it the same guy? I'll be this guy for a third time, I don't care. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Making my way down to so many ligmas. <laughs> he didn't want this to kill one of the things, so he sacked this. Interesting play. It's actually... Ugh, it takes so long to die. What's with that, man? Uh, this actually makes it... Gives us a chance of getting nerfed for Rockwall because he does something weird here. Really doesn't have that much. Very blessed banana bomb. No, 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 no. Come on, man. Okay, so two out of three of our powers actually save this. If we get heal, that's basically the whole game. This guy in his stonks. If we get rock wall, we win the game. <laughs> I win. And if we get our ultimate ability, we also win. We always block here, so that's not even a factor. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's so much. This is represents. This is a 1-9 right now, but this is going to give us so much value. As this game goes by. Hmm, Chump Champion, that's nice. I'll probably use that next turn. Beep! <laughs> no more stocks. No more stocks. It's the same guy three times. Oh. Uh, give me the coach back. <laughs> you fool! What are you doing? He's just... Okay. He needs a lot of stonks right now. I wonder if I go for the, um... For the chum champion. And also, the bean stock, like, exists with two health. I think a chum champion is right there. Now we need heal. That's... A very, very high value heal. What if I top deck a teleport here? Oh, no, no, no! Just Chum Champion? I really like it. Is this worth it? It's probably worth it. It's probably worth it? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeet! See ya. <laughs> It'll leave us vulnerable if he top decks two more Magic Beanstalks. I just need him not to have a deck full of that. No, okay, okay, all right, okay. Who is this guy? This man in his stonks. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Was he running Great Flick before? Ah, oh, it's so, so annoying. Annoying indeed. So I'll either go coach or I'll go gladiator going viral is really strong too. So we have options here. We also have a rocket available. Yeah. Going viral is super, super, super strong here. That's what we'll go with. Um, what if mine dies this turn is the question. I guess it doesn't matter because we can't take the four damage anyway. Uh, we'll have a rocket for next turn. That's a really strong play. Get putting this 11 damage on his face right now is really necessary because we're 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 getting really low in health. The glad it's a, yeah, it's actually low soon. Yeet. So there's a six. He rolls a three. He rolls a one. We're out of berry blast range. Teleportation zombies alive. There's there's a lot a lot going on here. Um. Is this too weak? Well, he really needs to remove him. We have rockets. Nah, we're fine. Keeping the teleport available. He gets the teleportation zombie, I guess. No, wrong one. Yeah, that was a misplay. Because I can always teleport in something. Uh, so what actually is the smartest play? Is Coach better here? Coach makes this hit phase. So it's Coach. And we rocket this one. So now we hit his face three times. 
Uh, what if he blocks? Can he remove? He already got blow. His super is not active. His little guys doesn't do anything. So, I, I think that's guaranteed, even if we don't roll one there. He already used blow, right? He blew the, um... He blew, he blew like a, he blew something, right? Anyway. That was pretty safe. If not guaranteed, I think that was guaranteed, because he already had his blow. Five and one with this deck. <laughs> you blew the coach. Blew your mom. You blew the teacher. <laughs> we don't have teacher. All right, guys, school's out. Class dismissed. It's not the same guy. No, no, no. Now it's not the same guy. Now it's not the same guy. I'm going to keep this against Cycle Cat. This hand looks spicy. Do I play this? The answer is yes. And you know what? We're actually going to teleport this in to play around Cycle Cat. Oh my gosh. Stop! <laughs> Stop playing Blind Mother. Okay. It does one damage. It's okay. Decision time. It makes me able to play around Cycle Cap, which we don't know if this deck even is. Uh, this is definitely the stronger play, like by a mile, it's the stronger play. I'm gonna go with the stronger one. I'm not gonna go all in on Cycle Cap here. On turn four, Cycle Cap, where we can cover the thing. He'll be able to draw three cards. I think this is alright. What the hell is he doing? What the heck is this guy? Okay. So is killing the Admiral important here? Yeah. We can kill it. Or we can go here. This is really awkward. I think we kill a 2-2 Admiral, because we're not going to have another shot. We don't have a coach in our hand. I'm basically just going to play this dry, probably. I know this dies here. There's a coach. Uh, I think we just have to play our game now, which is the tempo game. He probably is not going to be able to remove this mask guy. He does not have a superpower. He's running planet, though. <laughs> oh. Ouch. So I think it's teleportation zombie environment next turn. Oof. That's what he needed. He's out of cards. Now he has five, and we'll probably even have more. Weird how he used that, but... Uh, so it is mascot actually, because this really does survive well in this black hole even against a team up. You got it, oh no. Uh, we really, really need a gladiator. A gladiator will get us right back into this game. He's drawing three cards this turn at least. And these, these stonks are just. There's so many stonks now. Ugh, no, is right. Does this grow with the cycle cap? Very interesting. Interesting indeed. This does not count as a berry doing damage. This is so this is gonna be so strong to be able to chop that, I guess. I might even just play the coach so I can just chop this cleanly. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, probably block the four. We're not we're not in, in any kind of good shape. This is that's a good that's a good nerf. It prevents a lot of a lot of damage over the next two turns here. It's a cool coach. We still can't kill this Astro Shroom, but he doesn't have much of a field anymore. Um even though we have chop. Maybe I'll just do this. Because whatever card he plays this turn is going to do more than one damage, usually. So it's this and then Sha. It's really weird. Sacrifice the good trade for a different good trade. Since we have an answer. Stonks. What's happening? Every time he plays one, it just gets worse and worse. This is not going to be easy. <laughs> I'm glad this doesn't draw him a card. Ugh. Just 
the matter until he starts getting more admirals and more astro shroom. He might have another one for all we know. We're still doing okay here. Somehow, some way, we are stable. Is there any reason to teleport in the coach here? He probably is not going to have enough berry blasts and stuff to. To kill this board, but we don't really lo lose by playing the coach, right? There might be a going viral play here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna. I, there's nothing safe about this, but I think uh, we have to sort of try to roll high and make the most optimal play possible. It really could end up being a going viral, is the way here. Very blast. The coach can always go here, so that's this doesn't actually need to live. Planet. And this dies. <laughs> I have no well, I don't I have no regrets because he probably does not in those two cards in his hand have an Astro Shroom. Or a um or an Admiral Navy Bean. And if he does, he'll have two other cards next turn. Now he does have an awful lot of his really his win condition is drawing so many songs, and he has a lot. <laughs> he has a lot. He has a lot. A lot, a lot. Is there any scenario where you double going viral here? So now we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't think so. Uh, one Astro Shroom literally could put us away right now. Because he could empty his hand. He has 7 Sun. Oh my god, could you stop? <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> Dear god. We probably have to go viral here. <laughs> This is what's going to get him back in the game, guys. Oh, top deck madness. Okay. You just got that from the stonk. Leafy synergy. That's what we're dealing with now. Man, this man going... go. He going leafy synergy. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Heals, heals good. I do like heal there. <laughs> That's fine. We're still doing a lot of damage to his face. Unfortunately, this Admiral lives, but this has got to be the play. I know, guys, he has Stonk Synergy. I bet he got this from his... He's not even right. It's just a from his Cosmic Bean. It's a gro Mega Rogue. Okay. okay, so that one dies. Uh, I think Gladiator is still the best thing we can get. Chump Champion wouldn't be bad either. I'll... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh snap. So what's better? A 6-2 or a 3-2? This one this takes two uh well the going viral actually makes that live. But we need more damage. So six plus five. This actually makes us win here, so I'm gonna do this play. Yeah, as long as he doesn't roll high, going viral should put him away. Well, I can also just put anything here, including another stock. But anyway, if he puts a stonk here, I guess it's rocket instead of going, well, I don't even know it. Hi. Oh, dear God. That does eight. I might be, I, I might just take the eight here. Because getting an extra card, plus us doing five damage to his face, it means he'll be down to four. It really puts us in a position to be able to actually do something now he doesn't have his planet active this i don't know about this but he he's gonna draw three cards here oh, decision time he'll either be down to nine or he'll be down to four and we'll still have right now he's doing 10 which means really with all these cards he's drawing this we do win this now i'm doing this play <laughs> because he's his his admiral makes him win so much next turn if we take eight, we have to play conservative. It's sad. Just because he ha Berry Blast really wins next turn if we take eight here. And he's drawing all these cards. So... This plays around everything. He has no reach anymore. Oh, that's such a good gladiator. He could have just... 
I played a, a, an admiral and a bunch of stonks this turn, and we would be just dead before we even have a chance to make a play, right? There's a stonk. We have double going viral, so everything's hitting phase. He doesn't have any heal. I think we're, I think we're in excellent shape here, guys. Oh, that was such a good tie. It doesn't look like he has the Astro anyway, so it doesn't make that much of a difference, but it's still solid. And this is probably going to prevent us from taking any other damage this turn. Oh, that's such a, it's a, such a slow play. It's 4 cost 3-3. Three, three. Talk about sun inefficiency. Everything, everything hits face. How much are we doing here? We do 4 bullseye straight off the top. We do 0 bullseye straight off the top. So we're doing 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine. Six, seven, eight, and this should be lethal unless he rolls a three and a two here. Come on. <laughs> I haven't tried this hard. Uh oh. Okay, it doesn't matter actually. We should win. We should have this guy as lives too, which is cool. Statistically, we should win this game. How did we even stay in this? Roll a one. Roll a one. Roll a one. He rolls double threes, of course. Of course he rolled, I mean, of course he rolled roll double three. I mean, it's not, it's not gonna like not roll double threes there. Come on, man. Come on, man. <sighs> Coach. Yes, we take no damage this turn. We're still in great shape. I can teleport this in if we need to. If not, I'm just going viral. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating so hard. I act as if it's a low chance, because it is. It's, of course he's going to roll high. I hope he doesn't do some dumb team up. I don't even know. He can't. He has no reach. He has no reach. He actually didn't even have an answer to the, to the chump champion. He had nothing that could absorb six protected frenzy and survive there. So he just bit the bullet, man. We won that game. <laughs> that, was real, that was one of the most intense games. <laughs> Damn. The fact that this deck is at least in the ring with some really powerful late game strat. I know he, well, he got an Astro and an Admiral. I don't even know if he played that optimally. But he got so many Magic Beanstalks. We're talking about decks that have really a, a stupidly efficient power in the late game. The uh, cycle cap is almost unmatched there. Okay, so we're six of <laughs> This is sort of this concept where you have the tempo and the control with the teleports in the same day. I'm so happy it's not another freaking nightcap, man. I'm done with that. I'm gonna mulligan this and look for a mascot. <laughs> the dream! The madman! It's happening again, guys. It's happening again. I know, I haven't seen the blob that much here, right? Please don't play Gladiator on one? Why not? Um. I, I wonder... If I move, well, I guess we, well, we win this trade. Is him having a thick Bananasaurus Rex a big deal in this matchup? That's awkward. We don't have a good lane for our mascot anymore, which is weird. We don't have to play the mascot this turn, by the way. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Oopsies. Oopsie daisy. I think I'm gonna slow this down to strap. I probably could have done that better. I can't really kill this with anything, so fine. This is okay. We are doing just fine. It's a good nerf. It's really is. Keeps that lane up. This game ever see an update? I, I could imagine them doing another balance patch someday, but obviously there's no official word.
We have a teleport, so we can totally risk him bouncing this. Come on. <laughs> He's going for it. Give me that sumo. That's three sumos. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I like... It's a big commitment. I think this is really safe, though, because it's hard for him to really, even on turn 5, and we can always switch it if it's a problem. Uh, Team-ups, well, it'll solve team-ups. It doesn't solve him putting, like, a Gatling P on the field. Dear God. <laughs> I wonder if not, if actually doing 2 damage to this would have been worth it, though. Ugh. Trap. Feels fun. I have to stop talking. I I talk too much. <laughs> Way you talk too much. This thing going viral looks pretty good. Rock wall as well. Dear God, this dying here is okay too. Frozen. So we're keeping this here. We can also move it. Double strength. Freeze. So we move the... <sighs> so we move the cattail, I guess. Well, I'll move this. this is... is it going viral? Uh, this does direct damage to his face here, so pretty good. This is frenzy and frozen anyway, so two damage is not gonna make any difference here. This cat tail is just minding his own business. His own business. Uh, so this play looks awfully strong. It's gonna be two, three, and three. Uh, uh, five. Eight. Oh, never mind. Well. Uh, we don't... Well, okay. Hold on. Oh, we don't have a blowout play, do we? Well, this wins in two lanes. We'll keep the option open, I guess. In case he doesn't front us. Or in case he does with 5 health. And not make a play here. He gotta one drop those. <laughs> so much for that. So much for that! Okay, so now we play for the going viral. So it's just gonna be Brain Vendor going viral, I guess. Is there any reason not to play Brain Vendor here? We're never gonna need the extra brains next turn. Right? Well, this makes us able to play Sumo next turn. I think it's just. Uh, I think we don't play it. We can just play Sumo. It's not gonna hit face. It's not really gonna do anything. Alright. Here's six. We rolled a one. I could just finish this game. <laughs> Seven and one, guys. We need one more win. We have two games to get one win. I know. Give that man a banana Rex. Okay. 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 Quick, drink more coffee. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> Fry, I haven't seen you sweat. Sorry. I haven't played. I haven't done this well with such a bad deck ever, probably. 
<laughs> what the heck is going on? This is Robo Master. It's better not be a dumb deck. I'm not. I'm not even counting it. Imagine sniping me in order to Shut win your channel you point bet. Did you see the big Overwatch update today? What? What Overwatch update? The heck are you talking about? All right. He's he's probably just trolling me. The poll closed already, guys. Long gone. Dear God. They nerfed Genji? But why? Dear God. Up and take my money. Freya, I love your channel and commentary. You're the reason I got Twitch. Ah, thank you, the Holy Shrimp, for your kind words and your generous city. Really appreciate it. Oh, snap. What the hell is this? Enough is enough, guys. Let's see. I think he's gonna have a way to deal with this and the uh Really? Lame Lame <laughs> God damn it. Right. I don't know if we should count the sniper guys. <laughs> I'm just making excuses not to count this game now. Gladiator would be nice. Oh, this is good enough. Onion rings? Would be kind of harsh. I should not count snipers for the channel points, though. know what the count to this deck is. Usually against sports you just go aggro, but the set can actually control things, so. See how many little buddies he has? Is that what this is doing here? Ugh. Card. Yeti. Procs his own block, so he does more damage now. Ugh. That's odd. I don't I don't like that. Oh! Does it hit face? Never mind. <laughs> so stupid, man. Uh, yay! Rock wall. Okay. <laughs> We're not doing that well. Is it just lethal for him then? I don't know. Probably no way out. Unless he grows this. Elderberry. Oh, we're, we're alive. We're alive. At least he's not actually watching the stream. I think we're in pretty good shape. It's. I mean, we're not in great shape, but it's still winnable. Blob does 8. Now Blob does 11.
This is not a good play, but I'm doing it anyway. So many things go wrong here. But we do theoretically have lethal. And we have a way of, of crunching a little bit more health out of one of these frenzied minions. It's... I don't think we have any more damage, though. We're in very decent shape. Uh... Come on, man! Twelve, fifteen, sixteen. We're done, right? There's no out here. <laughs> Bananasaurus Rex, man. No, we can make this do only four, but we have only four health. It's fifteen. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. So without the little buddies, we would have won, because we got him down to four. Too bad. Too bad. Deck performed well, nonetheless. Don't worry, guys. We'll win this game. Here's all the money here. Try how do I donate to Robo Master <laughs> Shut up, Ribsy. <laughs> Who am I up against now? It's better not be another sniper. Okay. Time for some madmen. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a huge risk and it paid off. Okay. Okay. Super ventilating. <laughs> we'll do this play again. Mm, we have mascot on three, mascot rock wall on four. Spike weed's pretty strong. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's not strong at all. It's the weakest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> What was he playing when I was playing on teleportations? It makes sense. I mean, there's not a lot of sumos going on. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Didn't do anything. This will probably just die to a coach or something. How is your heart rate at this time of day? <laughs> it's a race. Uh-oh. Dear God. Oh, no, 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 no. No 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 Okay. I'm just gonna play for stats right now. Oh no scary. Um Cop Cannon isn't even that strong, not gonna lie. You can't even two from with the hammer because of a rock wall. Yeah, we can't actually remove this though, which is oh Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I guess we don't rock well until we need it, right? Hey, rock! Rocking the block here is really good. <laughs> is he running Soul Patch? Is he gonna play Soul Patch next turn? Oh, dear God. Oh, this is bad. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's some top deck madness. Not gonna lie. Uh, I don't know. Is there ever a scenario where we play the six attack blob this turn? Nope. It's three, one, and one. We'll blob later. It's funny night? What does that mean? Is he gonna play Soul Patch here? I, can we kill the Soul Patch? Gosh, this is so stupid. Dear God. Okay, so this always happens. I don't think we rock wall. He can't really do damage. There's no real point in playing rock wall. Now, this does live, but this only takes four. That's no, fine. We have teleport Bly. I've got to hold on to this teleport, man. Woo! Everything grows by 3-3. Three, three. Is he running Doom Shroom? He's probably not running Doom Shroom. Most probably not. This is a 4-4. Four, four. It's pretty awesome. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Going viral from, from hell, guys. Let's go. I'm not even going to spend the blob yet. That'll be our last case, last case, last case scenario. 
Well, we're good. He's not even ramping. He only has six time. What the heck is he going to do here? No force field. <laughs> no, 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 no. We only have one more. You know we only have two environments left in this deck. So if he plays force field, our whole deck is... Our whole win condition is down to... Well, oh, we do have rockets, though. Huh. That's fine. It's three cards. We'll have three cards that will... That will kill this guy. He doesn't have, He's not running Doom Troom, and he does not have second force field, guys. It looks like we have this in the bag this turn. This turn we got it in the bag. That does nothing. Zero. This has no effect on, on the game. This actually makes our win condition easier now. <laughs> in fact, does the Frenzy go face? I don't even know this game mechanic. Does this kill the Soul Patch? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Does it kill the Soul Patch and then go face? Again. I don't think it really matters, though, at this point, because we're hitting him three times lethally. It doesn't It doesn't do a Frenzy for killing, no. But, yeah, we win. We won! <laughs> Easy! Look at this field, guys! All y'all who bet against me. Eight and two! Counting the sniper. Eight and two, guys. The bets are all off. <laughs> There's going to be some people with no channel points right now. <laughs> Choose prediction! Choose outcome! Wait! 67% of you voted yes? How did 67% vote yes? And only 33% voted no. Someone voted 44.2k channel points. That was Justin. On yes. Really? Two thirds of you voted yes? That's crazy, man. 84 people voted yes and 68 people voted no, but more than seven wins. The answer was yes. Enjoy your channel points in the live Twitch stream. <laughs> if you guys want to be part of the excitement here, come over to twitch.tv forward slash fry em up. Links in the description of every video. Oh boy. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was an extremely, extremely fun stream. Peace. This is Fry. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>